Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're going to be talking about the new iOS 7 that was announced at WWDC 2013 on Monday, June 9th. So this is the next edition of the iOS operating system and this one is a big one. iOS 7 has been completely redesigned from the previous iOS 6. It looks completely different. There's a lot of um, updates as far as as the back end goes as well but the thing that you're going to see in the forefront is the different design features that Apple has chosen to use I really like the look and feel of it so as you see here I'm going to scroll through a few pictures of the new iOS so here you see just a collaboration of pictures of some of the new apps within iOS 7 as you see there the look is completely different all of the stock Apple icons and applications have been completely changed I like all of them except for Safari. I think that looks a little ridiculous. Tell me what you think in the comment box below. I like a lot of the design features that Apple has chosen to use. I believe they have caught up with Android when it comes to a 20th 21st century iOS. So here's a uh, look at the control panel. You'll be able to swipe up and a transparent panel will come up and you can adjust your Wi-Fi and other settings as well. This is an overhead look at the new iOS. This is the new iTunes Radio and iTunes Store that has been completely revamped along with the App Store as well and I believe that was long overdue. Next you're going to see the new app icons up close. As you see there all of the applications from Apple have been redesigned. Next let's take a look at some of the features in action. So here you see the control center. That's what I was telling you about. You'll be able to swipe up and adjust all of the settings right from your home screen or your first page there. Next we have the notification center has been completely changed. You have three different tabs. One that says today, one that says all, and one that says missed. And then uh, you know that's kind of how that's going to work with the notification center. I believe that also needed an update and I really like what they have done with that. So anything within your calendar will show up here as well. Next, we're going to move on over to multitasking. This is something that needed a ton of work from the previous iOS. Uh, according to Apple, this works so much better than it did in previous iterations. You'll be able to double tap the home button, open up any application, and the great thing, it should work with all applications. So that is absolutely fantastic and a great upgrade. Next, I have already talked about it, the new iTunes radio. I'll do a separate video on this. This is just like Pandora or Spotify. It is a free radio service that you go ahead and type in a artist or a song name and it will play it just like within Pandora and there will be ads that is how they will monetize that radio there. Next, you'll see the Photos application has been completely overhauled. You'll see here when you take pictures, it'll place them in folders as well as it will date them and put locations on where you have taken these photos, which is a great update. Also, Apple has introduced photo filters. I'll do more on that in a separate video. Next feature we're going to discuss is AirDrop. This is something that's been in Android for a while. It is a system where you're able to send files and pictures and videos to other people around you. They did not state a distance, how close you had to be. That will be released or announced later, I assume. Next, we're going to look at the camera here. Nothing too much you know too drastic here except for you know you still have the panorama you still have the regular photo camera and video camera and there's new a, a new square camera uh, that allows you to do a few features and stuff I'll do another video on that Safari I'm not going to talk much on that it's been redesigned more of a full screen you'll also see here you're able to create a home page also you'll be able to swipe through tabs just like that which is a nice animation feature there within Safari other than that I use Chrome anyways, so I don't really know if that's going to matter to me. Next, we're going to talk about Siri. Siri has been completely overhauled. They say Siri, it works way, way better, and I hope so, because right now it is terrible in its current state. So hopefully they have fixed Siri, and they said that they have. So iOS 7 overall is fantastic. You'll see here, we'll go over the uh, Mail app has been changed a little bit. You're able to swipe left to right to go to different messages and mails, emails within your inbox. Hopefully they have improved it because 
currently I'm using Gmail on my iPhone. Next, you'll see the weather app. It's gone full screen, and as you see here, added some nice animations. If it's raining, you'll see rain. Snowing, you will see snow, and so on. Messages app, you see here, it's got the nice white overlay, uh, white and blue, very clean looking, just like Android. So hopefully, uh, you like this new design. I know I do, and I think once I install it on my iPhone, I will be very excited to play around with it. So tell me in the comment box what you think of the new iOS. What do you think of the new design, the new icons? What do you think of the new behind the scenes features, the new iTunes radio? What do you think about all of it? Do you think Apple uh, won this round? Do you think they've caught up with Android? Have they finally created a 21st century iOS? Uh, let me know what you think as a whole about the operating system. I believe personally that Apple has now caught up with Android and I'm very, very excited to download and install the beta on my phone and give you guys a better look at what's going on with iOS 7. So guys, again, this has been a Tech Guru video. If you haven't subscribed to me already, go ahead and do that completely free. Just click that subscribe button. Go ahead and click the thumbs up button down below and like this video. It will help me out a ton and I will see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.